Hi, I'm Dave Langer, big wave surfer and advocate in keeping surfing the positive and spiritual sport it was meant to be. When you let go of the rope and you start tapping into the energy of the ocean and, and that wave that you're riding, you know, when, when you get in there, when, when the wave finally encompasses you and you get inside that barrel, everything goes silent and everything slows down. You know, at that point, what the wave wants to do with you is what the wave wants to do with you. I grew up in Fullerton, California. Uh, it's about 15, 16 miles inland from Huntington Beach. I think my, uh, my love for athleticism was, was definitely instilled by my father. A lot of the emphasis, it was put in baseball and, and academics and, and just stuff right around the neighborhood. When I got into surfing, it was kind of a... Uh, it, it wasn't really my dad's favorite thing, you know. Surfing for me began as a, as a youngster going down all the way from Fullerton to Huntington Beach, whether it be getting a ride from one of our parents or taking the bus even with a boogie board in hand and, and just getting in the water. The first wave I ever caught was, was here at Huntington. Uh, it was uh, a decent sized wave, maybe about six or eight feet high. And I, I went down to the bottom and turned and came up to the top and I think I even did a turn up top and, and came back down. It was uh, awesome. My first inspiration in surfing was uh, Dane Kiloha. One day I was at Newport Surf and Sport and this was back in the 80s. Dane Kiloha and Willie Morris and Sean Thompson were all there on, uh, they were part of Team O'Neill and, and you know, the O'Neill team came to Newport Surf and Sport after and signed autographs. So not only did I get to watch these guys surf these incredible waves, but then I got to go meet them. And, uh, you know, Sean Thompson was awesome. Willie Morris was awesome. The, what they said on, on their pictures was cool. Although Dan Kiloha, you know, after taking the pictures home and reading them and really keeping these things by my side, what he said really stuck with me. And it went like this. It was real simple, two words, keep surfing. And, uh, and I did, and I kept surfing. And, you know, eventually I became uh, Dan Kiloha's tow partner. And, and he turned his tow partner, his other tow partner, onto me when he decided to move off the island. And now my tow partner, Harry Pahukoa, his uh, nickname is Bobo, is, is uh, my permanent tow partner. And he was handed me by, by Dan Kialoha, ironically. I never imagined surfing would become a career. I always did it for the love of the sport. And uh, through the years, I just ended up becoming a, a competent big wave rider. And, and now, it, I, it's, a, it's amazing. I'm actually a, a big wave surfer professionally and it's, um, it's awesome. I love it. So I've been involved in a lot of different sports, everything from, you know, uh, snowboarding and skateboarding and, and stuff like that to baseball and football and basketball. Uh, surfing was always my favorite, although for a little while there I got involved in downhill mountain biking. I, uh, I did that for a few years and uh, really just fed off of the, uh, off of the adrenaline and, and the sense of satisfaction you got from, from going over these real rugged trails and, and finding your way through these things and carrying your momentum, kind of like surfing. Surfing is, is life. Surfing is, uh, is a way to renew your life. No matter what you've done, no matter no matter how dirty you feel for whatever reason, you go out and you, you get immersed in the salt water and, and, and jump on a wave and start gliding down it and you just feel new, you feel fresh. It's, uh, that's basically what surfing is to me. What I see for the future of big wave surfing is getting the viewer in on everything they're missing right now. What I want to do is I want to make it possible for all these guys who go out, and, and women of course, who go out and express themselves in these huge waves to have it covered on a daily basis. Big wave surfers are preparing to ride big waves. They're, they're actually going out and venturing out and hoping to ride big waves and not scoring. And you know what? A lot of the times they're going out and they're, they're achieving their goal. They're riding big waves. And the, the pity is that it's not being covered. I mean, it's great for them and it's, and it's great for us and, and we get the feeling of only the kids and, and the viewers at home don't get it. They don't get to see it and they want to. I know they want to. I've talked to them about it. On August 8, 2008, 888, we uh, decided, a couple friends and I, Jeremy Deloach and Stormy O'Rear and myself decided to go down to Puerto Escondido and do some toe surfing, bring the jet skis down there, leave them down there and, and create another venue for us to be able to go do this stuff that we love to do. Uh, 
uh, in doing so, we realized how inefficient and inadequate uh, trailering our, our jet skis around is. And in coming back up and realizing, well, I'm going to need to get a 4x4 and I guess a 4x4 trailer, I, I got home and I'm like, how do I do this? How do I make this happen to where I can get out in the water anytime I need to? It, it, it actually culminated to, to this idea that I had now and that I've actually brought to fruition in putting the jet ski in the back of a truck with a lift system so that you don't have to use a trailer. So you don't have to make a trailer a 4x4. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. A mere hours after I got my truck done, I, I had the opportunity to actually test it out. I got word that uh, Hurricane Bill was hitting the East Coast and that it was going to bring like 80 to 100 foot faces possibly. Upon getting out there, we realized that, uh, that this is the kind of thing you really need to have. You can't be dealing with trailers and, and whatnot. I mean, had the beaches closed, had, had the harbors closed, had everything closed, we would have been able to, to get the truck on some beach somewhere, launch that ski and get it done. And sure enough, we had a great time, the surf was awesome. Uh, some kids were out there and, and got wind of what we were doing and came up to the rig and wanted to check the rig out and everything. And we were giving them DVDs and vitamin water and, and we just had a great time. Ryan got some great waves, Balaram got some great waves, I got a few too. Uh, it just made me feel great, I, I love that kind of thing. Oh, what I'd love to see happen with this sport is for it to blow up like skateboarding and snowboarding has and just to have these venues where ESPN covers it like they do snowboarding and, and skateboarding and, and just, just have it go as big as snowboarding and skateboarding have gone. You know, these guys who uh, film from the hill and snowboarding or, or film from the side of the ramp and skateboarding, they've, they've got all the equipment that they need. They, they, everything's right there to blow up those sports. Uh, unfortunately, for uh, big wave surfing, it's a little harder to get that footage. I would love to see the resources applied so that, so that you know, the people doing it can have the same opportunities that, that the snowboarders and skaters have. I can't wait to see this sport blow up and I want to play as large a part in it as possible.